During this video, we're going to explore a fun and easy way to create a character animation scene using free software. I hope you enjoy it. We'll start by clicking New Scene or Create New Scene under Getting Started. And rather than creating an empty scene, we'll go ahead and wait for the, the scenes to populate over here on the right, the default scenes. Um, there are quite a few that you can either search from or click down through these different categories. And there's also thumbnails over here to preview these. So my goal here is basically to find a setting that I think looks interesting um, that a character or characters can interact in that space. So as I scroll down through these, notice there's um, little magnifying glasses. Um, that you can go ahead and hover over top of to get a, a bigger view of these scenes. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with this cathedral. There's a couple ways to work um, with this project. You can either pick a scene and then figure out and know exactly what you want to look for uh, with, with the, the character rigs, or you could just kind of go with it. And both approaches have their merit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with that cathedral. Um, go ahead and name it or rename it. And we'll go ahead and use uh, the gallery access control. Click create. And that scene will populate in Clara. Uh, notice over here in the explorer panel, um, there's a material library and all the objects are over here so we can manipulate those. But I'm just going to go ahead and collapse those because I'm going to be bringing in um, a character, maybe a couple of characters, and things are going to get pretty, uh, pretty full over here. So just a, a couple quick reminders um, while navigating. Uh, these two arrows up here in the upper right hand corner, when you click those, you'll get some different views of your scene. And I noticed that my floor plane here is kind of cutting through the cathedral. I need to be aware of that. Uh, remember, you can zoom in and zoom out when you're uh, manipulating your, uh, your objects in space too. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with this perspective view, at least to, to get started here. Now, I'm going to have to go into another um, another website to uh, to get the assets that I want. I'm going to get a character, and let's say that I'm going to have my uh, my character inside this cathedral dancing on this floor, just as a, a simple example. I'm going to go up and create a new tab, go to a website called Mixamo. Just a quick note about Mixamo: um, when you click on Mixamo and go to their website. You can do one of a couple of things. You can either sign up for free or log in. I would click sign up for free if you don't have an account. And you're going to see this page, create an account. Just put your email address in, first and last name. Give yourself a password and fill that information out. And then you'll be able to start using it. Mixamo is an exceptional resource to use for FBX files and, and rigged characters. Um, you can go in and grab characters that are already designed for you. There, there are quite a few up here. You can click this tab here and there are all kinds of animations that you can choose from. And Mixamo will auto-rig those characters to those animations for you. You can also upload your own characters into Mixamo and there's an auto-rigger that takes about two or three minutes and it, it does a really good job of, of rigging your characters. For this project, um, we can go in and, and do a search if there's, again, something specific that you know you want to get some type of an action that you want happening in your scene between a, a character or, or characters. In my case, I'm, I'm going to have that, uh, that character dancing, so I'm going to click Dance. And all kinds of examples will show up here, and I can click down through these. Now, a couple of uh, quick notes these uh, these FBX files, they're recordings essentially um, of movements, uh, bones files, and when I click on one in auto rigs, notice that this one has 54 uh, frames to it. So it's a really short animation, and I could have my my character um, looping through in in my scene if I wanted to, repeating that action. But in my case, I, I want this to be a little bit longer animation, so I'm going to click uh, this one here. This Th thriller part three notice there's 767 frames so that's a, a pretty long animation i'm going to go ahead and go with that now i'm going to grab a, a different character and you can 
scroll down through the characters until you find something that you want. Notice there's multiple pages down here, or you can do a, a search and, and see if there's something specific um, that you would like to grab. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'll grab this ninja. So I'll have a ninja um, dancing to Thriller in my cathedral. So I'll click use this character. It will auto load into this little preview port. And I can hit play. And here's this ninja dancing. Now, before we download this, take note of how many frames your animation is. We're going to adjust that once we download this or actually upload it. So I have 767 frames. We'll be adjusting our animation to that. So make sure you note the amount of frames that you have. And make sure you note the name of your character that you're going to be downloading. This is Thriller Part 3 on Ninja. Now before we download this, we're going to take a look at a, a couple other aspects of Mixamo here. Um, we can make some adjustments to this. So with every animation that, that you, uh, you rig your character to uh, or you select, you can make adjustments over here. If I want to um, have the arm spacing less or more, in this case I can do that so his arms are tighter or I can spread them out a little bit more. And you can go in and you can actually adjust um, the amount of frames that you have. In this case, I can, uh, I can move this out. And, uh, I can take frames away. This option also allows me to, to mirror the action. So I can click Mirror. And it shows a version in reverse. So if you wanted to download the same character twice and mirror it, so it looks like two, uh, two characters are dancing with each other, uh, you would have that option. So now I'm going to go ahead and download this. And in this case, I'm going to leave it an FBX file with the skin, uh, no keyframe reduction, and we'll leave 30 frames per second. So I'll go ahead and click Download. And be patient waiting on the download, and be very patient um, waiting on the upload, and I'll show you that in the next step. So with it downloaded, I'll go back to Clara and load my scene. So once your scene loads, it's time to, uh, to upload your, uh, your FBX file. So we go to File and go down to Import Files. And there's a couple ways to do this. If you're on a Mac or a PC, you can just drag the files into this area. Or if you're on a, a Chromebook, you can go to Choose Files and choose it from um, your documents. Once you hit upload, it's going to take a while for this to load, again, depending on the, the bandwidth that, that you're using. So there's a little progress bar down here in the lower left-hand corner, um, and it will say when it's finished. So once you get the notification that the scene assets are loaded, you should be able to see them over here in the Explorer panel. So right here is the, uh, the file that I just imported. Here's the rig. And hopefully the materials came in and intact. And again, if you have issues with uh, importing, you might want to experiment between a, a few different types of files. Um, just make sure that um, if it's an FBX file, it's just one file. But those Collada files, you'll need to bring in the materials as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can find this, uh, this character, uh, where it's at in space. So we'll go ahead and click these... Uh, these two arrows and go into split screen and with the character selected over here in the Explorer panel I'm going to go ahead and move it around a little bit to try to find out where it's at so I can see that it's uh, above uh, the cathedral in that view so I'm going to move it down until I can see it in space and here it is um, showing up in my hall and it looks like it has all of its its materials together. Now by default Claire is going to give you 200 frames down here in the timeline and I went in and adjusted that. There's 811 frames to this animation. So in order to adjust that you're going to go up here into your uh, your properties panel and you're going to let me select the, the scene itself over here. We're going to go to the properties panel and we're going to go down to the timeline. So let me collapse the environment. Um, go ahead and click the down arrow for the timeline and right here this says start frame 0 and end frame 811. By default Claire is going to give you 200 frames so you're going to have to highlight the end frame amount and go ahead and type in how many frames um, your animation was if you want it to be the, the full animation. So if you're happy with uh, how things are, are animated that um, 
Looks like he's creeping into uh, one of the columns here, so I'm going to have to move him around a little bit in space. All I have to do is uh, highlight him, and I can move him back a little bit. So one last thing. This, uh, this view, this working view, it looks pretty good, but I'm going to go back to Clara real quick, my home page. And click this little box and click view just so I can see this uh, this animation. As a finished product. So I'll go ahead and hit play. And with this file now, um, I can do a few things. I can go ahead and download this as any one of these um, these formats. Let's say I wanted to 3D print it. Um, that'd be quite a 3D print with that cathedral, but might be worth uh, worth keeping. Um, a Collada file, uh, if I want to keep this animation intact, or any one of these other uh, these other file formats. Another thing that I can do is share it. So I can click share, and I can invite people to, to see it or work with it by putting in their email, or if you know their username, you can type that in. So hopefully you enjoyed this. It's just a uh, overview of the basics of starting with a scene uh, and then adding some uh, some motion to it.